Previously on Fridays, I've done Twid videos, and then in the past on TikTok, I did Zer videos. Now I'm trying to combine the two, so if you like this format, be sure to hit that like button, and let me know in the comments what you think about it and how I can spruce it up or what I need to change about it in the future. But with that being said, let's hop into it. First up on the TWAB, we have Joe announcing his departure from Bungie. And I'm not going to read their whole message that they have here, but I will say my message to Joe is... Joe, you've been a fantastic director for Destiny 2. We appreciate your honesty and your openness with us. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Tyson Green can do, what he can bring to the table. But Joe, you've been fantastic. And I'm very, very, very sad to see you leave. Um, but I, I hope whatever you have in line for you for the future uh, pans out. And I wish you the best of luck. There's also an emblem code on screen for the event that we had to get 7 million sword kills that I keep forgetting to mention. Next up we have the new armor coming. You're basically going to get the ship, the ghost, and the sparrow for free. I don't know if there's something you have to do to get them, but they're free. You don't have to pay for them. And then the armor sets you have to pay for, and this is all a big Mass Effect collaboration. Armor sets look cool, especially the Titan and the Warlock. I can't really see on the Hunter, so we'll see. Next big thing is we have Uzume next week, and it's Double Nightfall Rewards. And I will probably put out a review on it. I have an old one. I haven't gotten a new one, but I'll put out a review on it, talking about what I think about it sometime next week. And then finally, Relic Returns to Crucible, if that's something you care about. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop over to Zer. For Exotics, we have Prometheus Lens, and for the Hunter, we have Raiden Flux, Titan has Hollow Fire Heart, and Warlock has Fell Winter's Helm. Not a big fan of either of these chess pieces, and the Titan one has too much mobility despite being a 68 stat, and Felwinner's Helm has way too much mobility and only 63 stats total, so unless you don't have the armor, I wouldn't recommend picking it up. As far as weapons, Zer has no exciting roles. He does have three weapons that can be crafted. We have the Callus Mini Tool, the Recurrent Impact, and finally, No Reprieve Shotgun. If you're going to get any of these, I definitely recommend the Mini Tool and dumping some Harmonizers into it if you don't do Presage every week. So you can have a chance at a good Mini Tool because this thing crafted is insane. It is the most popular SMG other than maybe Funnel Web. And finally, the only other legendary weapon I would like to talk about is the Iota Draconis. It's pretty good. It does have heating up. I wish I had under pressure, but it has a charge time mass work. It's got range boosting, barrel, and mag perks, and it also has kickstart, which is, you know, half decent. So if you like the super slow fire infusions, that one's pretty decent, but not great. And finally, Zur has a sunset set of armor. Pick it up for the fashion. None of the stats are good, though. That being said, that's pretty much it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you think about the video, if I need to make improvements, what I need to change, and all that stuff. Reminder, I will be live on Twitch tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Show it some love so I know you want to see it. And you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you Monday with a different weapon review.